How to change the brake pads on the front end of a Toyota Sienna. Save yourself about $300 doing it yourself. Here are the tools you need. You got some zip ties, you got a C-clamp, wire brush, some grease, a brakes parts cleaner, WD-40, loosen up the bolts. You got the brake shoes themselves, brake pads, and a socket wrench, um, open-end wrench, and a screwdriver. Um, are all the, the tools you're gonna need. So for the socket, it's a 14 millimeter and the open end wrench is 11 16. So before you start to make it easier on you, go ahead and you're gonna to want to turn the uh, caliper so that it's facing you and you have more room to uh, work and you're not struggling underneath the fender. So first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna get the uh, um, parts brake spray cleaner and kind of clean off um, the, the whole brake area and then I'm going to get some WD-40 and I'm going to uh, spray on the bolts to make them a little easier um, to loosen. Alright, from there I'm going to take the socket and then also I'm going to take the open end 11 16 wrench to grab um, the other interior bolt nut right there as I take this off. If not, it'll just sit there and spin. All right, after you, after you kind of break them down, it's pretty loose. You can just take them out by hand and set them, set them on the side. Pay attention where you place them so you don't lose them. From there, the whole caliper should pop right off. Now, that's where I'm gonna take my zip tie, slide it through the hole where the bolt runs, and just fasten it to the spring up here. And this is so the caliper can hang freely and not pinch or kink the brake line or damage your brake line while you're working with the caliper. All right, now I'm going to remove these springs right here. Those springs are used to kind of allow the brake pads to uh, retract once they've been pressed. Now you can use the screwdriver to pop the uh, the brake pads off. Now I'm going to remove this bolt so I can clean it up and re-grease it, re-lube it up while I have uh, the caliper apart. Just kind of spray it off here and then put some uh, grease around the bolt so it'll slide freely and it won't get stuck. Pop it right there, pop that rubber seal on there. Uh, this one's kind of being difficult. And pop that off. Try not to tear that rubber gasket, rubber seal. Clean her off. It's a brake cleaner. All right, let's get some grease on her. And just pop that right in, okay. All right, now we can uh, take the brand new brake pads. And I take the old one, compare it to the new one, and look at the old one to make sure I'm popping off this, this little metal flange. Um, and then I have it in the right spot, and I'll compare it to the old one to make sure I'm putting it in the right spot for the new one. Just slide that metal piece and pop it back in place. And then go ahead and do the exact same thing with the other side. Pop off that little metal flange. Put your brake pad right in place. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to compress the plungers on the caliper back in place since the uh, 
brake pads have been worn, its existing position is pushed out. So I'm using a C-clamp here to uh, compress those plungers back in place. All right, once that's compressed back in place, kind of spray it off, clean it off a bit. And I like to just put in the top portion first. Get the top half of the caliper bolted in. And I do that because when I put on these metal clips, um, it, these metal clips are kind of springy and they kind of make the pads want to pop out and fall off. And it just makes it easier to have the top portion bolted in then you can hold this in place and slide the caliper over the brake pads without any issue. And then I can put in the uh, bottom bolt. Alrighty. Pretty much it so now I'm just gonna take that 14 millimeter socket wrench and with the 11 16 open in wrench and just ensure I have this tightened down and properly secure and that is pretty much it after that I'll really spray her down make sure she's all clean and you're complete you just have to put the tires back on and you're ready to go for another 70,000 miles maybe. <laughs>